Hiya, it's Veronica, your surviving artist and imaginovator here at Shabu Prince. Welcome back to the Shabu Prince Artist Studio for your weekly Shabu, <laughs> which is a gosh darn needed positive thought or consideration that we get to chew on for the week. So let's go get something to bite down on. 2020 has really turned out to be some kind of crazy pressure cooker, right? Well, what that means is that we're gonna pop out of the other side. <laughs> A little more hardened, probably for the scenario, but very shiny and sparkly. Wow, the things we have to navigate, and we will. So, there is going to be a moment in time where we're going to be on the other side of all this zany crazy. And we're going to get to look back and be proud that we have gotten on the other side of that hump. It's going to be our badge of honor. We just have to learn to move with the changes. Like I said before, once you thought the mountain to climb was over here, because of what's happened, it might now be over here. But you can still navigate it. It's just accepting the changes, doing what you do best, and keep on keeping on. So because we're all really busy navigating the new landscape, climbing the moving mountains, I thought it was best to get this week's Shaboost as a quickie, really fun message from our good message trough and this is a collection of motivational inspirational messages all original from the heart and spirit of shibu prince i'm going to hold you in my mind in my heart as i intuitively select one that will possess a message specifically for you for the week ahead and so i'm going to now shuffle through all of the original quotes until my fingers hone in on one specific one, I've got chills and that's a very good sign. And it looks like it's this one. So I'm going to put the trot down. And so the shaboost for you for the week ahead is how you perceive and manage crisis provides you with clues as to who you really are. This is true. I can't even see if you can see that. Nope, you can't see that. Aw, oh, shucks. It's during moments of challenge and crisis that you perform as the person you are, not as the person you hope to be or try to be or try not to be. It's kind of like it's your primal response. Crisis moves me into gear. I shift from like, coasting to third gear or something i'm going uphill i'm i'm making it happen and so there's a different focus a different application of who i am during a moment of crisis but i'm here to tell you that the real you the honest real you i trust has got this how you perceive and manage crisis provides you with clues as to who you really are. So, with that, I wonder what exciting and unpredictable and unforeseen things will happen to you this week. I'm excited because I know I can handle it, and you know what? You can too. So come back again next week when we're going to get another shaboos, <laughs> another reminder that, oh yes, we can, and oh yes, it's good. But until then, Live big and play hard! <laughs>